why I had to come out. Whoa, there's a question. Why? Hmm. What was going on that made me think I have to do this? Hmm. I'll start by saying I think my story is a little more unconventional than others. Okay, I need to say that. Why? What I find really interesting, actually, when I look back, and I remember this began 22 years ago, is that I didn't feel the need to label myself, you know, as gay. Well, actually, lesbian was more widely used back then. Right from when I first kissed a girl all the way up to now, I don't like to label myself. Why? Why? When I, when I started seeing the girl that asked to kiss me, you know I talked about her in my last video, I didn't think, ooh, hang on, what does that make me? I'm not with a boy like all my friends, so what is that? How would I describe myself? Well, I didn't. I didn't find it necessary. I was just me, you know? Part of that is I didn't know the language to describe myself. The terms gay, lesbian and sexuality, they weren't in my consciousness. I think because I didn't use these labels to describe my sexuality, I didn't feel the need to have this whole, <laughs> like, reveal party, you know? <laughs> I just... I didn't have this need to tell anyone. There was no build up inside of me like I know a lot of people have. Other people, they didn't use labels to describe my sexuality either. So it was never such a big deal in my head. And I think because it wasn't such a big deal to me, I thought, why would it be such a big deal to anyone else? And to be fair, I still think that. You wanna know about school? Well, at school, I don't recall anyone being openly gay. Or maybe they were and I was just closed off to all of that. I, I don't remember anyone anyhow. Uh, school. As I said in my last video, I was at school when Section 28 was in place. Heterosexual relationships, that's all I'd ever seen and known. And then I went to university. <laughs> now, <laughs> um, <laughs> when I went to uni... That opened up a whole new world, okay? Um, my degree was in theatre, in, in arts, theatre design and sonography. I was working with actors, dancers, musicians and fellow theatre designers. When I look back, everyone was gay, or at least experimenting at uni. And we socialised mainly in the local gay bars. I found a safe space and community, I guess, to explore more of who I was. But even at university, I still wasn't introduced to words like lesbian and gay. I didn't describe myself as gay. I didn't tell people I was gay. I was just me, doing what felt right, I guess. It's who I was. And I didn't need to put any of that into words. I guess you could look at all that and think, you weren't sure of how to describe who you were and how you felt. And yes, that, that could be true, you know. I certainly didn't have the awareness of the vocabulary and the labels that we use today. I was just following my heart. I also felt it wasn't anyone else's business. You know, it didn't matter to me, so why should it matter to anyone else? That's what I thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what changed, right? <laughs> um, right, nothing really changed for me. It was more about other people and their need their need to figure me out, to put me into a box. I kind of see it like this, right? You meet someone through work and you want to know what they do because instantly that tells you a lot about the person, right? You pigeonhole them and the work that they do day to day based on that information. You can make sense of it then, you see, in your head and you can introduce them to other people much easier. I didn't need to tell anyone that I was gay. I was perfectly happy as I was. The trigger was that others wanted to figure me out, to label me. Initially, it was my family, my friends and, and those at work. 
In answer to your question then, why did I have to come out? I didn't feel the need to. It was all about other people. It's safe to say that before I came out, I felt light and easy going about who I was. And after I came out, I really struggled. Other people's need to define me and label my sexuality meant that I've experienced much judgment, criticism, harassment and bullying. I am going to talk about how I came out in another video. I know that's something that a lot of people want to hear about. So I am going to um, talk about that in another video. I'm going to talk about coming out to family, friends and why I went back into the closet at work. That's a whole other story. <laughs> I'd love to hear your story. Why did you have to come out? And what were the circumstances around that? I'm answering your questions on coming out over the next few months in this coming out series as part of the My Queer Life journey. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything specific, leave me a comment and I'll make sure I answer it over the coming weeks and months. And listen, if you love these types of conversations and you like what you've seen today, please subscribe, share this with your friends and don't forget to leave me a message below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.